Hello, everybody, coming to you from the EVN show floor 2023 at the Joy Dot City booth with Browsers. I am here with the one and only Sean Alf. Hi, Sean. Hello. Hey. How are you? You know, I knew you were going to ask that question because I'm psychic. <laughs> and I thought about it today. I was like, how am I going to answer this question of how I am today? Yeah. I because you up. need to make it different. Right. You can't just say fine. Yeah. No. no. Because I'm not fine. I mean, obviously. <laughs> but you're here. Yeah. You're, in, you're working in the adult industry. <laughs> Clearly, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I I looked it up, and uh, 10 years ago was my first AVN. Mm. And I was a nobody, uh, you know, one of these people getting interviews, you know, getting mm. five-second slots. And so just kind of seeing the difference, the comparison of, like, then versus now and how many people I've met and just where the weird... Your journey goes just by saying yes to things. And, yeah. You know, for me, what's always driven me is like what makes for the most interesting story, which is kind of how I started writing about porn is mm-hmm. just because that was the stuff I would talk to at parties. People who want to know more about porn. I was like, yeah. well, this is an interesting thing. So, yeah, it kind of just led me down this journey. And now I'm here with you. Yeah. So I have to say I'm very disappointed that you did not show up in your bright gold Speedos with Robbie trying to like <laughs> twerk, hump, dry hump people. I, <laughs> I loved those clips that you were doing. Did, did you put those on TikTok? Uh, yeah. So we... <laughs> did you get them deleted? Yes. Yeah. We got them deleted I immediately. I figured. <laughs> but it was a little too were, aggressive for TikTok. They were very, very good. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> The The Speedos that I get are... Um, bulge accentuating, I like to say. Oh, okay. So they're, they're kind of cut to, to you know, fit the man shape. And uh, I wear those and I always have extra, so I'll put Robbie in some. Mm-hmm. And he's just down to do anything, so we'll, we'll put him on and just go hump people's legs. But, you know, I, I didn't want to do it at the convention just because, I don't know. I, I do it, I feel like people would expect it here, so I have to do it at a place that people aren't going to expect it. Maybe. Right. So here I'm dressed in my cardigan. Yes. And uh, completely dressed up, but who knows? Maybe I mean, I'll you're not wearing a cardigan, but okay. I, I, t- I was wearing it earlier. To you're wearing it earlier. Sweat so stains. You, you're wearing a... My uh, anxiety. <laughs> you're wearing a button-down button shirt. Button-down, yeah. Let's, yeah. Be, let's be clear about what you're wearing. <laughs> is, it, is his cardigan invisible? <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing a cardigan, okay? It's kind of it's my style. Who the fuck wears a cardigan to a porn convention? I, I don't know if you know this about me. I'm kind of the Mr. Rogers of porn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Completely wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> just wandered in here and just too innocent for this whole industry. But Well, I, innocent no more because uh, you transitioned to being somebody who worked extensively behind the camera. Right. I know that you were a very successful script writer. Um, and uh, then you just took your dick out on camera. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. The cameras were rolling and I was like, hold on a second. Let me, <laughs> let me take my dick out because it's ready. It's... I've been waiting 10 years <laughs> to unleash this bad boy on porn. <laughs> Mainly, I just wanted to meet people and get them to know me on not a dick level and then traumatize them by showing them. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't mean to see that. But yeah, so the story of what happened was I was working for Balesa, um, one of the directors I work for, mainly Jackie St. James, who has really helped me out in this industry. She works exclusively for Balesa now. And they reached out to me. They wanted to do a series about a guy who wasn't in porn getting into porn, and I wrote him this long email about how uh, I have high anxiety, I'm uh, 40 years old, uh, I have a very average dick, <laughs> I am the, the last person that's going to be a porn star, and they're like, that's exactly why we want you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I'm like, I mean, I may, I don't know how I'm going to do, like, we, I really have no idea, I could just fail every scene. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, that's that's what we want to see. Okay. Oh, great, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was like, that's... It's good to know. Like he, but the problem was the first scene I did really well, and he was almost disappointed. <laughs> so can wanted, we shoot that again? And yeah, can yeah, your yeah. dick like not get hard? But don't worry, there, there's definitely a few where I'm like, my dick eventually gets hard, but you know, I it takes a minute. I get anxious. You know, you just and you can't predict it, and it's just this. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's hard. It's so hard to explain to women because I don't know what the the metaphor would be like maybe trying to get your nipples hard on command but that even then yeah. you could just use Yeah or even getting ice. like wet you know I mean but that women can get wet I don't know if you've seen like the plethysmograph studies but women will get wet for anything and the theory is wait, like Wait wait what? So 
there's like <laughs> there's less rhyme or reason. So they've shown okay. like they put this thing on a guy's dick and they show him videos and like whatever he's into, his dick will get hard for him, right. basically. But they did the same thing for women and to measure like how wet they get or how much blood flows. And it's completely unpredictable. And the idea is that like if you're in a violent situation or you're gonna get raped, it's better that you're wet. Oh wow! So that you don't injure yourself. So it's like a way the body's way of protecting right. itself. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're turned on. Right. Okay. Wow, that's really interesting. I hadn't heard about that study. Yeah. I'll have to look into it. Yeah. So, I mean, I've always said, you know, that the male performance job is so difficult, and I'm right. sure you have had, you know, many guys ask you about getting into the industry. I get these DMs all the constantly, time. Constantly. Constantly. Want to be a porn star, and I'm like, you know. It's really like not as easy as you yeah. think it is. So, what was your experience like? You said the first one went well, and then after that, you struggled. Sometimes. Yeah, I had like I, I think it was like one in four that it would take me a second to get hard. I just needed to go to like a different room and mm-hmm. calm down. Yeah, get hard and come back. Um, but it's it's really hard to explain what it's like to try to get your dick hard on command with maybe somebody you just met. Yeah. For the first time while yeah. there's a camera rolling, while there's like a crew mm-hmm. waiting for you. And I still don't, I've only really shot for Blessing and I do a bunch of OnlyFans stuff, but that's a very different ball game than shooting for like a Vixen crew where there's yeah. 20 people on set. Absolutely. Um, so I don't know if I will ever get there. I know like it's kind of exposure therapy where you, uh, the more you do it, the less anxious you get. And right. I have like in the very, the, before the first scene, two months out, I was having nightmares before and now like I don't really worry about it until the morning of right and I'll still like people will reach out and I'll wait for people to reach out that want to shoot with me so at least I know that they want to have sex yeah me. right so like at least I have that um, as opposed to you like being like do you want to do a scene with them and then being like uh, okay yeah they and like then, feel bad they right. like don't want to let you down right, right, such right. A nice guy like, right and I never want to put people in that situation yeah um, so I wait for them to want to shoot with me, and then I just kind of want them like, hey, I'm like a normal dude, so it, it could take me a second, which you know, will be fine, but yeah. it's usually fine, but for me, I've always been much better as an underdog, so if people expect me to fail, I do way better. Oh, okay. Than, so like, I You're always like, You need like negative reinforcement. Yes. And I think that's partially why my like role in this industry, everybody just makes fun of me, because I feel so much more comfortable than if you like compliment me. Like, right. If you make fun of me, I'm like, okay. Yeah. They like me, but if you give me a compliment, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how to say. <laughs> so if you're expecting me to fail or what, I'm like, okay, this will be great. <laughs> this like will reverse be good. psychology, right? Yeah. So if we're ever on a set together, just please be like, his dick's probably not gonna. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this, this is gonna be a good scene. <laughs> it sounds like you might be like really good for like a uh, like a penis humiliation scene. You know, I would. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem would be I'd probably be so relaxed that I start to get hard and be like, so you're into like people making fun of your dick. I'm like, ah. you know, there was one time somebody asked me to shoot content, and uh, it, I got there and she was like ready to go ten minutes from when I got in the door. It's like I, I'm not quite ready yeah. yet. So like she started sucking my dick, and I was like, so we have a good like two minutes of her sucking a flaccid dick, and I was right. like, listen, if you want, just use that on your OnlyFans and then dub over like making fun of my dick because I'm sure so many people but I was like just never let me see that because I don't want to know what you would say but I mean in general I think that's kind of my niche too in this industry is I'm there's so many males with ego and maybe that's what helps them be good performers is that they have that confidence yeah for me confidence has never worked mm. it doesn't feel natural for me to be confident so I play I'm very confident in not being confident mm-hmm. um, but it I just feel so much more comfortable when people don't expect me to be this like super stud yeah yeah because you know I mean? i'm not that's not a role but i, I bet that there's like some people that really i can imagine though that guys would really relate to you because you know you say, i have to say i haven't seen your penis so i can't well, say whether or not it's average <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'd say whip it out right now <laughs> yeah. but you know we are on youtube and avn has these strict like we'll no do it under the table rules. I'll show you later. I got you. Okay. All right. Thank God. But I would say that um, <laughs> Matt's trying to get you to whip it out now. <laughs> Matt's, I don't know if he's seen it. He's probably seen it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I haven't seen it, basically. So I can't say whether or not it's average. I don't know. Um, but I will say that, uh, you know, there's a lot, like a lot of guys watch porn and they, yeah. you know, have 
like a lot of nervousness around like yeah. these ridiculous dick monster size. dicks that they mm-hmm. see. And so they look at these monster dicks like dread right. and then they look at their dick and they're like, Oh, I'm not good enough. But yeah. I think like you're kind of like an advocate for like average guys. I am. I want to like, if any toy company wants to make like the average dick or like I call it the commuter dick or the boyfriend <laughs> dick, the daily driver dick, because like that's the dick you you want to have sex with every day. Yeah. And there's dread, which is like a special occasion. That's like a Thanksgiving dick, or like <laughs> you know, like when you want that huge meal that you can only do once a year. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, guys are more obsessed with dick size than, Women than anybody are. else. Hundred percent. Like that's one of the top five searches on porn uh, is yeah. big dick by guys. Yeah. Um, but for me. Getting over all of that, I started streaking when I was in college, Mm -hmm. and I called it putting my insecurities on parade, and that has actually been one of the best things about doing porn, which I didn't foresee, was now, like, if somebody wants to sleep with me, I'm like, she's seen my dick, she knows what's coming. Yeah. I mean, other than you, but maybe you don't want to sleep with me. Yeah. I mean, I would, but I am, I'm married. I get it. I got a kid, I'm like... It's complicated. Yeah, yeah. I get it. (laughs) (laughs) But it's, it's so nice because it's like... This is me. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's nothing to hide. There's nothing like, this is who I am. Like, take it or leave it. And it's, the dick is such a strange thing because it's, I feel like we have such reverence for big dick because it's like, he did nothing to earn that. He was <laughs> born with it. And the same with small dicks too. Like, it's just what you were born with. And what yeah. I always think too is there are, are some women who've had the best orgasm with other women. And guess what? Other women oftentimes do not have dicks. Yes, that is true. Not so, always, but. Yeah, not always. Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. Women do have Sometimes you get the best of both worlds. I've been to an ABN party once where everybody was naked in the hot tub and all of the women had bigger dicks than me. And I'm like, (laughs) well, this is frustrating. (laughs) Oh my God, I love that. Well, Sean, thank you so much for joining us. It's always so fun to chat with you. You are. you are a real treasure to this industry. You and your average penis. I know, my average penis. <laughs> it's, it's the people's penis, really. <laughs> can you tell everybody where they could find you and uh, your average penis online, you, please? <laughs> I'll give you my address if you really want to see. Um, it's seanalf.com, so S-H-A-W-N-A-L-F-F.com. And then all my links are at seanalf. So it's really simple. Fantastic. Yes. And you guys can find me at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. And of course, do not forget to go and sign up for email updates on joy.city. That is what you are seeing behind me. It is a fly through of the first adult metaverse. And we're so excited to be here at the AVN Expo bringing that to you. So sign up at joy.city. Um, be up to date on all of things happening in um, the metaverse. We're very excited and uh, there's a lot more coming your way. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.